How to Trap a Leprechaun, written by Sue Fleiss, illustrated by Emma Randall. Legend tells of tiny elves who visit once a year. They'll steal your treasures for themselves, then quickly disappear. If you catch a leprechaun, he'll grant a wish, I'm told. But if he gets away, too bad. No wish, no luck, no gold. Small and full of trickery, they'll fool you if they can. Catching one takes smarts and skill, but most of all, a plan. The night before St. Patrick's Day, the leprechauns appear. If you wish to capture one, you'll need the proper gear. First, you'll need to build a trap, one he can't escape. Grab a box, a bottle cap, some glitter, glue, and tape. Use gold paint to coat the rocks he will think they're real. Scatter them inside the box and he will come to steal. Pour some glue inside the box and build a rainbow slide. He'll take a ride to find the gold but find he's stuck inside. Leprechauns come out at night so they can sneak around. Now close the drapes and dim the light and wait without a sound. Did you hear that? Quickly check your snare. Shucks, he just escaped the trap. He could be anywhere. Look at this, he left his shoe. And in the shoe, a note. Tiny words addressed to you. And this is what he wrote. Dear children, thanks for the glitter and shiny gold rocks. But I can't be trapped by a cardboard box. Your tricks were quite clever, your trap was so great, but it takes more than rainbows to steal my fate. Signed, Liam the Leprechaun. It is a shame he got away, but please don't shed a tear. Go enjoy St. Patrick's Day and try again next year. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe. Want to check out the last story we read? Here's the link. Do you have a favorite book that you want read aloud? Leave it in the comments below.